Hi friends, uh, Jennifer and myself, uh, we're hoping y'all are having a truly blessed Saturday today. Uh, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and I wanted to make a very quick video, give you an update on um, Brother Bill Newcomb's uh, trip to India, okay? He called me a couple of days ago, really excited because one of our uh, viewers sent, you know, a donation for his trip to um, India. I mean, that is how quickly someone has watched the video, dropped uh, a gift in the mail, and got it to his address. Okay? He is just flabbergasted. And um, he was very appreciative of that gift and what I wanted to do uh, I've been thinking about this uh, <clears throat> if you watch my Facebook uh, go to my Facebook page and watch that video one of them he begins to auction off what was that thing like a handkerchief or something oh, it's a dolly for, the a, dolly for a table Okay, a lady, a, a, a dear sweet uh, Mexican lady makes those and um, I reckon she sells them to uh, for income for her and her family. So she gave several to Bill and if you watch the video, when he put it up for auction, you know, nobody, <laughs> nobody even made a sound. It's like they was afraid to even bid. So you know me, I wasn't gonna stand for that. So I threw my head up and I said, Bill, I'll, I'll start the bidding with $20 and nobody else said a word. So I got the first one for 20. And then after that, as you watch the video, people began to, I don't know what you would call it, get out of their frozen state or whatever. Well, see, I have something just like that, that I can offer as a gift you know for for y'all's gift to bill's ministry and i will pay the shipping i think it'll be about four dollars for me to ship i have you know my books here a brand new shipment of my books that i got a couple of months ago and um anyway there's the front there's the back of my book and there's 309 pages and you know i have um let's see here let me see if i can find it you know i have charts in here and let's see here i got another one i can show you i should have already had had them finger marked there uh here's another chart and um it just really helps explain what uh has been going on um, and you know this I, I would say this is probably one of my most uh, things that I put my most time I, oh I have got hundreds and I literally I, I probably could be close to a thousand hours of study and typing this book out at least a thousand hours truly and, and I mean that because I started on this book in 91 or 92 somewhere in there but I've been studying end time prophecy since I was 16 years old something about revelation just so intrigued me so anyway this is my book and of course I have a signed letter by Stephen Jertson he's the the artist Stephen Jertson is the artist of this painting and it's called Maranatha and I have got his sign autograph permission uh, to use this on my book. Yes, and it is called Maranatha. It is a 40 by 67 inch oil painting mounted to board. And as of the date of this printing, it is owned by the Carlsons. So, so much for a little history about that. But anyway, I think to be fair, uh, a minimum, I hope this is being fair, uh, the actual retail 
on this book is $22.95. But for a donation to Bill's uh, India Ministry of $20, I will send you this uh, a copy of my book. I'll even autograph it if you want me to. And let me tell you how we can do this. Send Brother Bill your donation and send me an email stating that you sent him the $20 and let me know what address I can mail this to. You know, if you want this mailed to a loved one, give me their address. If you want to mail it to your son, your daughter, a friend, just give me whatever address you want. I will mail it out to you. And Brother Bill gets blessed. I get blessed knowing that, uh, you know, I was able to help Brother Bill. And then hopefully you'll be blessed once you get a copy of my book. And in the email, if you want me to, you know, uh, autograph it, I'll be glad to autograph it. Um, not saying that I'm famous or anything by no means. But um, just some people, you know, like to have a book they receive from the... Um, the person uh, autograph. So much for that. Well, let me tell you the address uh, to send a donation to if you're interested. Uh, is Partners for a Better World, P.O. Box 5968, Valdosta, Georgia 31603. Partners for a Better World. Post Office Box 5968, V-A-L-D-O-S-T-A, like, Velosta, Georgia, 31603. And um, so that's how you can, uh, you know, get uh, a gift to Brother Bill Newcomb. And again, here is the flyer. Uh, so... He's looking really forward to going back. And I told him, I, I told him, I said, now, Brother Bill, let me tell you something. I said, we may not be here in January. He said, well, brother, that's fine. But, you know, we should always expect the Lord to come any moment. But we should still continue to plan as if his coming is going to be, you know, in the future out there somewhere. Because God don't want us to give up on life. God does not want us to give up on sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And um, just to also let you know, we went to church last night. They was having a revival, and my wife was blessed. They had a prayer line. And I tell you, when my wife, Jennifer, went through there, uh, they had a good old, the fire, the fire. What is that? That is a cross between power and fire. <laughs> I don't know why I'm tongue-tied tongue right this moment, but the power and the fire of God hit Jennifer and this lady who was praying for her, and I tell you, it was a wonderful. Hey, was you blessed, baby? Okay, she don't want to be seen. You, she's shy. Was you blessed, though? Yes. Yes. Well, wave at them. They, they, they want to see your hand. I tell you. Oh, and you know what else she said, told me last night? She said that she wants to make a video and upload it. And I reckon, was you going to tell about your experience or something? Yeah. Okay. So, look forward to that. My sweet wife is going to be making a video and will be uploading it. Um, okay, let me see what else. Oh, one other thing. Um... Something else I've done. <clears throat> Go to my Facebook page. Uh, I graduated, of course, in 1980. And the four years that I was in high school, which was 77, 78, 79, and 80. I graduated in 1980, and I was Madison High's most outstanding artist. And I painted a cougar. And there was people at school who wanted to buy that cougar. And for some reason, I just didn't want to sell it. 
So out of all my paintings, that, that to me that is my most, most favorite painting. It's a painting of a cougar. It's a two by three oil painting on canvas board, painted in 1980. So here's what I'm doing. <laughs> I know I'm not Rembrandt. I'm not Salvador Dali. Or I'm not Picasso or any of those great painters who are, are dead and gone. See, that's when paintings become real valuable when the artist passes away because no more artwork can ever be painted by these men or women. But anyway, this morning I got up and I thought, you know what? I'm going to put that painting up for sale. And I won't tell you straight up, I put a very, very high price tag on that painting. Not because it's worth that, but because if someone really wants to bless uh, the ministry uh, of Bill Newcomb going to India, this is how much I just believe and know this man's heart and how much I want us to be able, before we leave this earth, if, if we are even here till January, this can be one of our last chances to do something really great for the country in India through a friend and a man I've known since I was in my 20s. So anyway, go to my Facebook page and uh, you'll see the painting there. And if you want to make me a counter offer of what I'm asking for that painting, just instant message me and... We'll, we will talk from there. And, um, I mean, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I am more than willing to let that painting go. But when it goes, I want to be able to know that that painting I did in 1978 has been, that, that, that the monetary value that I exchanged that painting for has been sent over there to to change young men and young women's lives with that cleft lift. Uh, people that need cataract surgery and, and dentistry work and so forth. Because they do have a team of doctors over there. And I mean, one surgery with a cleft lift like that little boy in Rapture Readiness, was it 131? My video, 130? 130 or 131. It, maybe it was 130. The Rapture Readiness video with me and Brother Bill talking. If you'll watch that again, you can see a little boy before and after picture. Anyway, um, thank you for your time listening. God bless each one of you richly today. And again, Share this video if you want to, if you feel led to. Uh, the more that hear about what we're trying to do for Brother Bill, the more that we can send with him and the more people will be changed. God bless you. And I'm going to turn the video off now and we're going to back out of the driveway and go uptown and she needs to go somewhere. God bless y'all. Tell them bye, baby. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a wonderful day.